I've spoken in front of many audiences, uh, but I've never felt as honoured as I am today. And the reason for that happened 12 years ago. I was in a second-hand bookshop and I found a book called Blood in My Eye uh, by George Jackson. I'm sorry, I'm very, very emotional. Uh, I used to read this book when I used to go to college. And I used to feel so indignant. You know, I used to, I used to, I used to cry, basically, on the bus or on the train. Where I, was, where I was reading it. And then I found another book uh, of letters George Jackson wrote to his then 16-year-old brother Jonathan. And for the first time in my life, at the time I had been alienated and, and uh, kind of um, uh, didn't accept my own Kurdish identity. And I realized through a Black Panther who was no longer alive, who had struggled in a different part of the world, my own identity. And I think that if it wasn't for George Jackson, if it wasn't for that book, and if it wasn't for that struggle, I probably wouldn't have realized that my, my first contradiction within myself was my national identity. And I think that uh, anti-colonialist movements uh, like, uh, like the uh, Black Panthers, like the movements that have been mentioned, uh, the Third Worldist movements in the 60s, 70s, and like the Kurdish movement, who have been fighting for, for 40 years, the, the modern Kurdish movement, um, we wouldn't have resolved one of the fundamental, I think even before class, the national problems that we have. Talking about uh, Rojava, talking about the Kurdish revolution, um, uh, I don't want to uh, deprive it of its local character. Um, I, I mean, there's, there's a struggle going on in Kurdistan, it's been a very long time that, it, that it's been going on, but there's also a struggle going on here, and, and, and the unity that we must create is here, and I want to talk a, a little bit about that. Uh, for the past uh, three, four months, the international media has been reporting on, on the Kurdish struggle, but it goes so much deeper than that. Um, the Kurdish people have been fighting the Turkish state for 35, 40 years, Turkey one of, being one of the most important members of NATO, uh, even before uh, the state of Israel, uh, you know, the uh, hitman, hitman, uh, nation, a state uh, that, that, that has been a hitman for uh, NATO in the Middle East, um, which, you know, kind of uh, gets lost under the radar. Um, but now that, that struggle has, has moved on to Syria, I mean, I'm talking specifically of the PKK, the Kurdistan Workers' Party, and the affiliates, uh, the PYD, the YPG, who are struggling uh, against uh, the, the brutal Assad regime, but also against uh, jihadi uh, NATO hit squads who have been created by Western imperialism to divide once again uh, the region along sectarian lines, along new national lines, so that they can reappropriate and exploit it for the next hundred years. Um, the Kurdish struggle is uh, complicated in the sense that uh, it's uh, divided along four nation states, so Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria, there's an entity in northern Iraq which is uh, kind of a part of the uh, international order, if you will. Uh, there's, uh, now in Syria there's uh, self-administration in, in uh, three cantons in northern Syria, one of them being Kobani, um, where people are trying to develop a communal uh, uh, life, uh, life, basically, where uh, they're against nation-statism, uh, they're against uh, uh, capitalist industry, uh, and they're against capitalist economy. Now, uh, what does that mean for us here? I mean, these, these are, you know, I've repeated these so many times that uh, they're starting to mean little without any practical uh, implementation of it or practical experience of it. What we can do here, basically, and what I'd like to call on all of you here, uh, is to uh, learn more about the Kurdish movement, to develop solidarity with the Kurdish movement uh, through me today, but also uh, through other channels um, like the Peace in Kurdistan campaign, uh, like the Kurdish People's Assembly. And the reason for that is because we need to develop an international resistance against international finance capital. If, if we're going to be successful anywhere in the world, if we're going to create Islands of resistance, you know, like people were mentioning, the, the Soviet Union, uh, despite all its faults, despite all its uh, um, um, regressive 
uh, elements in the later years uh, was an island like this. Cuba uh, is still an island like this, despite, again, uh, all the difficulties that it faces. And Rojava, for people like us, people on the left, anti-colonialists, uh, people who are interested in revolution, or, uh, who are interested in developing uh, a revolutionary praxis, uh, need to develop solidarity. So I'm calling on everyone here today to, there's a documentary made recently actually, uh, interestingly by the BBC, uh, have a look at it, there's, there's also a few other documentaries, The Silent Revolution, and you know, if you can, if you have the opportunity, join a delegation, uh, go there, uh, get some practical experience of, of what is going on there. Um, there's everything that uh, Comrade Charlotte was talking about is taking place there. Uh, local uh, governance where people uh, are uh, developing the smallest unit of society which they're calling communes. Um, they're trying to uh, live outside of the system so they're developing agriculture outside of uh, global uh, capitalism uh, and global agriculture. Um, they're trying to develop uh, education, alternative education, so they're developing the uh, ac uh, Mesopotamia ac uh, Academy basically whereby they're collecting books now from all around the world in different languages. So there's so much going on um, you know, just coming here today, uh, you know, I've, I've learned so much. I've learned that the struggle, as they say, these, the people who have been struggling for 40 years are still doing their bit wherever they are. The Black Panther legacy, the emotions, the fire that it creates within us, regardless of our race, regardless of where we come from in the world, regardless of our age, is still ongoing. I'm so proud to be here, you know. I don't know if uh, what I've said has been coherent, but I, I'm so overwhelmed by the, the uh, you know, the kind of passion that I feel is lost in Western society, is lost in these big cities that we're actually trapped in, that we're imprisoned in, um, and, and we're alienated towards each other. You know, any one of us could, could pass each other in the street and we wouldn't know each other's stories. We need to touch each other. We need to feel each other. We need to say, we are all. And when I read George Jackson, I grew up in Hackney, uh, amongst uh, the black community, but when I when I got to the age of 17, I'd actually turned white. I'd actually, you know, I'd, I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, black as in, you know, oppressed from uh, my, my ancestors and, and assimilated and forced assimilation and my, my parents and my family have been imprisoned and killed and yet I got to a point when I was 17 uh, where I was going to turn my back on my own people and my own uh, people struggle and uh, the George Jackson's book actually was one of the leading lights for me and the reason was because he made me realize that regardless of your race regardless of you know who you are your class uh, and, and your beliefs are what shape you and what attach you to the rest of humanity um, so you know George Jackson also made me realize that that I was oppressed that I couldn't escape my uh, nation that I couldn't escape my class and that I needed to resolve those contradictions so, you know, we have a saying, um, uh, which means resistance is life. And it was so great to see that. If you're resisting your living, if you're in resistance against the system, everything that's trying to dehumanize you, then you're alive. And, and I want to say, long live George Jackson, long live Asata Shakur, and long live the Black Panther legacy, because it's living in Kurdistan, it's living all over the world, and it's living tonight in this room. Thank you very much.